Hello, I'm Clara Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is today's tarot for all signs for Thursday the 4th of April 2024. I hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube. It's called Psychic Cafe. In there, I give one question readings amongst other things. You can book in for one of those one question readings on my website at any time. You'll find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. You can book in at any time because I do all the pre-book readings right at the start of the next live show and then I'll send you the link to the replay. So if you miss it, if you can't come live because it's not in a good time for you, for your time zone, then you can still get your readings. So it's available to anybody. Alternatively, you can come live. You can book while I'm live too and I'll do it there on the spot. Now, I also offer private readings from my website, BeHealing.com. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. And I get those out within 48 hours of you ordering them, often within 24 hours. Um, so book yourselves in for one of those. Um, there are two ways in which to win one of those private readings with me, worth 160 Australian dollars every single month. The first way is by being a subscriber to my channel, clicking like on this video, and then leaving a comment. That'll get you one entry in. Do that as many times as you like on all of my videos, including my shorts. Throughout the month, it'll get you many entries in. The second way is by checking out my pick a card reads. If you purchase those deeper dives, those extended readings, that'll get you an entry in as well. Again, the uh, it doesn't matter when the video came out. It matters when you purchase the deeper dive. And uh, they often are timeless readings though. So check out the back catalog there on my playlist for the pick a card reads. So after all that, let's see what's in the energies today. We've got born with a gift. So something you're really good at, something that you're born with, something that comes naturally to you, something that's just like part of you. It's got some kind of a bearing on what's going on for you today. But the road less tra traveled could be unusual. Threshold, on the threshold of something and wild, you're going to really enjoy this. <laughs> um, it feels like this wild card is saying that you're going to be in your element. And I think the born with a gift is saying the same thing too. So an unusual thing is showing up, you're going to be in, in your element. And it's got something to do with what comes naturally to you or something that is just suits your personality type. We're all different, aren't we? And we've all got like gifts that we can share with the world. <coughs> Perhaps unique to ourselves. <coughs> or unusual, let's put it that way. Not really unique. Meditate and protection. Hmm. Something here about... Um, mental state. Protecting your mental state. Um, some of you... You might have an issue when you get overexcited about things. Do you get that? Do you get a little bit hyped up, get yourself into a kind of a, a positive stressed out state? I was just getting that meditate, kind of protect your mental state. It's just for some of you, I think, that message. <clears throat> okay. So tell us more, guys. We've got the Five of Cups. <clears throat> there's disappointment, there's regrets. I wasn't expecting that. <clears throat> It's got something to do with this born with a gift. Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands card is about keeping on going. You're almost at the end of a healing journey. So keep on going. It's that, that final thing. Hierophant as well has got an element of the keeping on going for the long term, for the long haul. Um, lessons are involved, right? When we're trying to manifest something, we have an idea to do something, to experience something, to achieve something or to get something. Um, if we're already in alignment with it, it will manifest straight away. But if we're not, then we are given the lessons or we're given the path to it. Or we're, we're shown like how we're being out of alignment. And the Hierophant is very much that card. There's a path to anything that we want and it's very much a growth path. So this, I think this regrets card has got something to do with the born, born with a gift, something that you've tried to do, is tried to manifest. Perhaps the lessons came along and it might have disappointed you or you disappointed yourself at not being able to take an opportunity perhaps not recognizing that you were still on your way to what it was that you want then we've got the eight of cups and the ten of swords wow something to walk away from something painful to walk away from mm, it needs to end it needs to be over you need to walk away from it you need to give up let's go deeper Five of Cups, these regrets, what are these regrets about the Hierophant is what I was saying. So <clears throat> it's exactly what I was saying. There is a path to anything that we want. And if you perhaps, you know, you, like, for example, me, this gift that I've got, I know it needs to be shared with the world because it makes a massive difference in people's lives. And I've not only been told that by other people, but I've noticed it. You know, I used to do other healing modalities. 
And and I noticed that it was the messages that I gave them, that my guides were giving me to tell them, was making the most impact, the most positive impact on people. So I need to, I know I need to do this. Um, so, and it comes naturally to me, is a part of who I am. Um, but there have been, of course I've slipped up, I'm not perfect. <laughs> and I've had to, you know, deal with healing myself and all of those issues along the way. And, and so I wasn't able to be super successful at it while I was still healing myself. Um, and I can look back and think, you know, be disappointed in myself at opportunities that I've missed, or I can recognize I'm just on the path. I was just on the path to becoming more of who I am, becoming better able to, to keep myself steady and protect myself um, while I am doing this more and more you know helping more and more people instead of getting like i used to get sucked in you know i used to get more too involved and it used to drain my energy it doesn't anymore and so it's just a natural unfolding i get from this these two hierophant cards is it's that spiritual path that growth path you know and it needs to happen and so try not to be disappointed in yourself for perhaps any delays that you think you might have caused Healing energy is behind that too. So being on a healing path, growth path to get getting to be that person, you know, and it's <coughs> it's really important because the universe loves us more than we love ourselves. And in other words, the universe is not going to let us do things, share our gifts in a big way when it's going to harm us because we're not yet resilient enough or we haven't healed ourselves enough or we're, or we're not yet learned to take care of ourselves properly. We've not yet, yet learned to put up boundaries so that we don't take on other people's energy, you know, stuff like that. So try not to be disappointed in yourself because it is an ongoing process, you know. Every year I'm more and more confident and, and better at dealing with myself and on all of this. And I can look back at, you know, me 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, doing this when I was really trying to manifest big things. I was really, really wanting to do that. I look back at my old, myself, my younger self there, and I think there's just no way. There was no way I was in a, a stable and happy and, and taking care of myself enough to be able to do that, to take on more, you know. So nine of wands, keep on going because you're almost at the end of a healing journey. Persist. Do not give up. <coughs> Ace of emotions and the muse of voices. Okay, now someone else's energy is creeping into this. You might have someone else. <coughs> excuse me. You might be becoming clear about where your heart's at. Ace of emotions, what you love. What inspires you? What you'd really love to do? It could be that. You could be gaining clarity on that. You might have been gaining clarity on that over the years as well. Perhaps when you think that you missed opportunities. But this, I'm feeling someone else's energy here as well. Um, falling in love, but not quite ready yet. Getting clarity on that. Someone with, um, someone needing to get their heart and their mind aligned that ace of emotions is very much a really good feeling of falling in love and the music voices is mastering the mind getting clarity so that's heart and mind alignment you're almost at the end of a healing journey with that and but i do feel someone else's energy there too <clears throat> so that might be resonating with you. you you could be having someone come up um on on their way into your life uh, who are in similar circumstances healing themselves and, and just getting to that point of that alignment. And and just like I said with the Hierophant card, that is what we're doing is like we're not going to be allowed to do something or allow ourselves to do something when we're out of alignment with it. And alignment is part of it is heart and mind aligned. There's anger behind that. So it could be things that previously made you angry and perhaps you turn that anger on yourself as well with this regret kind of stuff. Perhaps someone that was angry with you, perhaps you turned that anger in on yourself in the past and you could still be healing from that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tell us more about this Hierophant, please. This long term, we're growing, we're learning, we're changing. <clears throat> and you've got to remember that life, it isn't about getting this stuff. It's not about the experiences and getting this stuff. It is about our growth because that's the only thing we take with us when we're gone. Oh, wow. Let's just take all of those. So, four of inspiration. It's for our, um, our roots, our firm foundations of ourselves. 
the tower there's a shake up night of inspiration is about forward movement passionate forward movement and two voices are like i'm not sure about that i'm not sure i'm ready i just heard and the eight of materials is when you start getting getting back um the good energy that you put out there you know getting back what you deserve and the two of emotions is a love match okay so we've got a lot going on here the hierophant things that we've been learning is about solid foundations <clears throat> It's letting things fall apart when they need to fall apart, like letting things go. The night of inspiration and following our passion and giving ourselves permission to follow that passion. Two of voices and getting clarity so that we do know. Trusting our intuition, trusting our gut, trusting the decisions that we make, trusting ourselves. Eight of immater eight, eight materials is about self-esteem. It's about knowing that we deserve to get back for the good energy that we put out there. And acknowledging <coughs> the good energy that we put out there. <coughs> Excuse me. So we live in a kind of society where a lot of the masculine stuff has been valued, but not so much of the feminine stuff. And the feminine stuff is really important too. It has value. It has great value. I mean, who, who could say that like making some plastic thing is really valuable, but um, nurturing a child is not. I mean, how messed up is that, you know? So eight of materials, but we do it ourselves. We, we need to acknowledge that ourselves. And the two of emotions here is about love matches. And so healing... Um, with regards to past relationships and all of that stuff so much of that going on at the moment and the divine timing to retreat so it's all about the inner work it's still all about the inner work now i'm getting like we're on the verge of something here and we're headed toward it <coughs> and almost like the inner work is escalating <coughs> stop with my voice this morning eight of cups ten of swords but something you need to walk away from something let something go it's painful what is it very healing thing and it's got something to do with what you're here to do eight of emotions it says walk away night of material something that's going too slowly is of inspiration uh to do what excites you more um now i'm just getting a walk away from the safe option it's been causing you pain it's going too slowly it's not going to happen it's not it's not got the momentum or the drive or the passion behind it um, sometimes we, we've been hurt by moving forward with things that we're really passionate about. And then if it doesn't happen, say a relationship, it could be, but more, I'm thinking more born with a gift, things that you're here to do. So you're really passionate about something, you try to make something happen, it didn't, and then you're disappointed and it leaves you hurt. And then what we can do then is try and protect ourselves by taking the more boring option, the thing that we're not really passionate about. That is what you need to leave behind. It's just going to lead to more pain, prolonged pain, lesser pain perhaps, but prolonged pain. What's behind that is transformation. It's better to heal yourself than to go for the boring, safe option. Okay. Tell us about our love lives today. What's going on in our love lives, please? Freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. And friendship. Literally the bonds of friendship. Friendship and the path being clear if you want it to be. You might be given the go ahead here if you've got a friend that you want it to be more. Um, detoxify as well. So what are the things that are toxic? Well, there can be patterns and things like that. It can be reactions, triggers and things like that. It's toxic within us. We think, oh, the world is toxic and I'm triggered. And so the toxicity is outside of us. But that triggering itself is within us. It's our problem. Um, be careful of thinking that the problem is outside. I'm not saying that nothing ever happens to us. But just be careful of thinking the problem is outside because... Once we've healed ourselves, we're not that sensitive anymore um, in a good way. Not that sensitive that we're triggered and hurt by everything anymore. We can accept things as they are, not taking it on as ourselves, you know, as ourselves. So something can happen to us and we don't beat ourselves up about it or we don't think they did that because I am bad. They did that because they're bad. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, we can be less triggered and so the toxicity can be within us as well, especially sensitivities and yeah 
too much to deal with in just this video to go into all of that but we've got true love and daydream you could be daydreaming of true love and what that would be like to experience that especially for those of you that seem to be giving the go ahead with um someone that you've perhaps been getting to know friendship and you want something more with them but withdrawal betrayal and specialness there could be someone special around um, but feeling withdrawn because you've been betrayed in the past. I, I am getting here that there is something. Okay, what's toxic in relationships when we feel triggered? <clears throat> we feel triggered because we've been hurt and it's toxic to treat new people like they are the people who hurt us in the past. Because they're not. And that's toxic to do that, to treat people like someone else. To treat, you know, to treat someone like they've done something that they haven't, done something that someone else did to you. Something to look at for some of you there. So what else is in the energies today? We've got a caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. We've got a feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Harp. Great happiness. And dog barking. Advice from a friend. Well, think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for our answer. But this is just a bit of fun because it's a general reading, not a personal reading. If you want me to pull crystals out of my bag and cards out of my decks for specific questions that you've got, you can do one of two things. You can either book in for a one-question reading on my website, behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below. And also up there too. Do that in my live show. Or if you've got many questions or you want a lot of detail and you want something private, then of course that's going to come out. Then you can book in for one of my private readings website behealing.com find a link for it in the description box below and also up there too get those out within 48 hours if you're ordering them how best to deal with these energies today of course it's the hierophant we've got all of the hierophants out of the tarot decks now it's the hierophant day for sure it's about seeing the bigger picture and seeing how you are learning and growing and perhaps how you need to learn and grow more in order to have what it is that you want as well there's a wisdom about today tap into your wisdom and there's always a higher perspective to have. I don't think we can ever possibly get to the point of having the perspective of the universe because it's just blows my mind. Even though I'm tapping into some of it, it's just some of it. There's just no, there's no, there's no end to our growth that we can have because the universe is always expanding too, always getting more and more and more and bigger and bigger and evolving. And so we can too. And so, yeah. Be wise, and there's a humility about wisdom as well, right? There is. Okay, so I think of a yes or no answer question now. Pause the video if you're not ready for your answer. Your answer is no. It's the ruby, don't do it. There you go. Oh, I can't get it in. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like before you click off down there. Click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment. That'll get you an entry into the prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month. I do one of these today's tarot every single day of the year. I go live three times a week in my psychic cafe show. Come along sometime. I'd love to virtually meet you and perhaps read for you as well. And I make three love picker card reads a week as well. You can find one of those right there right now. Watch that next if you want. Well, have the best day ever. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.